There's just a little project we built for some tomato plants. That was not part of the hydroponic system because the tomato plants actually grow a lot of roots and they drink a lot of water. So kind of put a few of them on the side. This is uh, one of the first prototypes we built. Uh, and I thought uh, maybe we should go to Walmart so we can buy everything at Walmart and build it from there. And that's what this video is about, uh, building one of these little air assist uh, drip systems with, every, with uh, all the parts you can buy from Walmart. So here's the list. I know it's uh, kind of sideways, but I'll kind of put up the list a little later for you guys. These are the items you need. There's a bucket. Now that net pot there you can't get from Walmart. The aquarium pump, stone, holes. This particular hose you can't get from Walmart. It is a uh, 3 8 diameter OD and a quarter inch ID vinyl tubing. Get that from the hardware store, or you could actually buy another piece of uh, like a hand pump from Walmart and cut it, but kind of brings the cost up if you do that. It's kind of a waste. This bottle they have there, it's, uh, but uh, it's sold in packs of 12, so you're going to get a whole bunch of extra. Now you can substitute the net pot though for um, you know, one of the plastic pots they have there. The first thing we're going to do is uh, drill some holes in a bucket, with three holes. And next we're going to drill two holes in this, uh, in the top of this uh, bottle. And one hole in the funnel. Now the, the larger holes are about 5 eighths and the small holes are a quarter inch. Uh, you can figure it out. It's just to fit the, uh, the funnel and to fit the tubing. So if you go too big, it's not a problem. If it's too small, you just re-drill again. So, so we're going to start assembling the bottle now. This is the pump actually, the air assist pump. The air stone just goes in the funnel connected to the tube and run out the top of the cap. Just gotta make sure that you're not kinking the hose, that's all. Then I'm gonna drop the bottle in there. Yeah, to show you that, just runs down the side and right in that hole you made in the funnel, it just sits in, under the funnel there. And uh, the cap keeps the funnel from moving, so it'll all stay in place. The weight of the bottle will, uh, will hold it up to the bottom. Now, this tube doesn't exactly fit on there. It's about the same size, so we're going to just heat it up. Now I have a heat gun here, but we want to make this simple as possible. So you can do it with a with a lighter or a torch or anything. Yeah, I'm going to get some gloves. The tube's going to get hot. So we heated up the tube, just made it a little soft, and we pressed it right on the top of that funnel. Once that cools down, that uh, that tube it'll stay on there. It'll take quite a tug to get it off. So there it is, tube on top of the funnel, which is in the bottom, along with the air stone. Next thing we're going to do is uh, drop the bottle in the bucket and uh, run the hose outside. So, so far, we got two tubes coming out there, one leading to the air stone in the bottom and the other one leading to the top of the uh, funnel. Now the third hole that we drilled there, another quarter inch hole, we're going to run a, the tube down there and put an air stone on. And, uh, that'll help aerate the water so when the roots start uh, growing down into the water down there, we have nice oxygenated uh, nutrient solution down there. And the stone didn't look good just flopping around on the bottom, so I'm, I'm going to attach it to a piece of uh, ceramic tile we had broken piece lying around somewhere so there's a piece of uh, floor tile we just zip tied it on there and dropped it to the bottom so now we have three hoses coming from the, from the bucket there the larger hose is attached to the funnel and the two smaller hoses are attached to the uh, air stones this is why we bought the uh, the more expensive pump at uh, Walmart. I think it was twelve dollars. It has uh, two air outlets. So there you go. We're just going to attach both those two quarter-inch hoses to the uh, air pump. Now essentially, we're pretty much done with the bucket. 
All we need to do now is uh, run the hose up to the top that the water is going to come out of. But first I'm going to seal this hose so that the water doesn't all run out uh, the end. You can just heat up the hose again with your little lighter and then pinch it off with a plier and uh, wait for it to dry. That should seal off the hose pretty good. You don't have to seal the hose, you can just let it run out the top or you can uh, push a quarter inch piece of hose in there and uh, reduce the flow. Uh, there's many options. You can, uh, you can probably attach a drip up there, although it'll probably get plugged, but uh, I'm sure when you get started on this project you'll have many ideas and uh, you just modify it any way that'll work for you. Uh, so, what I did here is just made it into a loop, put a twist tie on there, because uh, this one, I want uh, I want the water to fall in a ring around uh, the plant. Speed it up here again. You just uh, adjust it till it fits uh, to your liking. Now, uh, I'm going to heat up an old screwdriver and poke some holes in the uh, tubing. This is what's going to allow the uh, air to escape and the, uh, the water to fall. It's important in the beginning section to put holes on top. The holes on top lets the uh, air escape. So, we're done. I filled it up with water. And now we're just going to give it its first run here. So we got the water to where I think I'm going to add the nutrient solution later and um, we're going to see how it goes here. Alright, I think we got a decent view now. We just got to find that pump and uh, plug it in. Where did I put that pump? Ah, there we go. Plug that guy in and uh, let's see what happens here. Okay, here we go. So this is the first run and you can see it, uh, the pressure is a little bit too much. A lot of that air is kicking up. Normally, I just turn the pump down a little or you can you can add a little, a little those uh, adjusters to reduce the airflow and send more airflow down to the bottom of the bucket, less airflow uh, pumping the water up. It's not really pumping the water up, but uh, assisting the water up. However, since we got uh, the Walmart air pump, so we can adjust that, and uh, I didn't buy any of those little adjusters, so what we're going to have to do now is... Uh, make some more uh, holes in the line, a couple more on top to let the air out and a little more on the bottom to let the flow come out. We could actually just put a clothespin on the, uh, the air line that's going down into the bottle, reduce it that way. But uh, you do want to slow it down a little or make the water flow less violent. And so all those drips on top of there will uh, probably drain your bucket in a day or so. so. I'm just going to make a few more holes on the top to let the air out and make a few more holes on the bottom to let the water out. And now uh, we'll plug it back in here and uh, you can see here. Okay, that looks a little better. I can live with because uh, I plan to put uh, some media up around there. You don't want it splashing up because uh, if, uh, if your plant is small and uh, those waters are, the water keeps splashing up on the leaves, uh, those leaves will die, they'll rot. And, uh, you want to make sure you keep the water, the constant water away from the, uh, the plant. You just want it going into the media and uh, let gravity take it down to the roots and uh, let the roots be happy. But this we can live with not that violent. I would prefer it to be a little slower, but uh, we're trying to do a full Walmart build, so we're going to work with this uh, air pump we have here. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. That's the bucket. But, uh, when I went to school in the 80s, uh, this, this idea was around. I think uh, some guy invented some kind of um, 
geyser, uh, looks like a reverse uh, siphon pump, and uh, it uses the air to, to help assist the, uh, the water up. So this has been around a long time, that was uh, in the 80s when I was in university, so this is uh, not exactly what uh, they showed us in school, but it's uh, more or less the same principle, just uh, using the buoyancy to uh, help bring the air up. Well, help bring the water up. So, well, the air is changing the buoyancy of the water to uh, help lift it up there. Since we bought everything at Walmart, this is a clear hose, so um, you might want to paint the hose. Normally I'd use a blue or black hose, but uh, you could always paint it or put a piece of tape on there. Or, you know, if uh, you don't mind a little green, uh, you, can, you can leave it be. But uh, that pretty much is the final product, I guess. You might want to tweak this and that, but uh, here's the list. Uh, I'll put it up at the end, because it's not that clear here. It's not focusing right, but uh, everything you can find at Walmart, except for the pot. You can probably use their uh, one of their plastic pots from the garden section. You know, that'll work just the same, just as long as it fits in the top of a five-gallon bucket. But that essentially does it. Hope you guys uh, can uh, take away something from it. Alright, we'll see ya.